The hallway of Dan Gurney's All-American Racer Shop in Santa Ana, California, tells an extraordinary story. It's a long hallway, and every foot of it is covered with pictures of race cars that Gurney either designed, engineered, drove, or owned, often all of the above. Gurney is still at the helm of AAR, and the ever-innovative engineer is still involved in brave new projects. The latest project is a revolutionary Delta Wing race car designed by Ben Bowlby. The car was built at Dan Gurney's All-American Racer's shop. After several test runs at Buttonwillow and Sebring, the car is on its way to race in the 24 hours of Le Mans. We spoke to him recently at his office at AAR headquarters about this latest, very much milestone-marking race car. Are you still on track to race at Le Mans? Yes, we're uh, definitely full blast going for it. We still have issues that need to be settled and uh, fixed and so forth, but uh, there's no sense of we may go, we are going. Very neat for you to be back in this arena making a race car that's going to Le Mans. Well, you're right. It is. It's an extraordinary situation. You would love to uh, be connected with a successful blast from the past, if you possibly could, at, at, <clears throat> at our age. And uh, I think this has an excellent chance of working out well. Ideally, you'd like to have uh, a trouble-free finish and be somewhere and, and uh, do it by burning less fuel, using less rubber, less brakes, less everything, or demonstrate extraordinarily good uh, efficiency. What would you like to have happen? I'd like to see it have a top six finish or something like that, uh, or a uh, trouble-free run for the 24 hours without any mistakes. Uh, that would be great. I mean, I gotta think it's exciting for you to, to be making this whole new project that's so different, so radical. Taking it to, back to this great race, that's it gotta is. be neat. It is. Do you remember uh, Crocodile Dundee? Uh, oh yeah. Where uh, he was down somewhere along Broadway or Fifth Avenue and somebody pulled a knife on him and yeah. uh, he said, that's not a knife. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those moments. And if you could do that uh, with a with an internal combustion engine, and uh, that's not efficient, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Would uh, tickle a lot of people. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.